<sighs> now all the product comes out. Uh, <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Hit the subscribe button to join my S club, become my friend, a member of my family. So you know what I'm talking about when I say we're the best place on YouTube cause I ain't lying. Anyways, today's video, we are gonna be testing out a bunch of new products. It's basically all of the new stuff that I've gotten in PR. We got drugstore products, we've got high end products. I went through a bunch of them on my Insta stories and you guys are letting me know what you wanted me to expand my thoughts on and give a little review. So that's what we're gonna do today. We'll do a full face makeup tutorial. But if you do like to see kind of real time when I'm getting these new products, I do post them on my Insta stories a lot. And I've been doing more like unboxings on my IGTV. So follow my Instagram, you know, you have to follow me on there if you love to see these new products and wanna be up to date on all of that. So yeah, follow my Instagram. <laughs> but without further ado, we're gonna get right into it today. Let's do it, do it to it. Yeah, we're feeling extra silly today. So first up, uh, Beauty Blender came out came out with three new primers, one of which I dropped. One second, hold, hold, two of which I've dropped, hold please. So they're pretty slippery, that's my first little note. <laughs> or I'm just a klutz either way. Anyways, so they have the Leveler, which is supposed to be the pore minimizing primer, Selfie Shield, which has SPF 38 in it. It's supposed to be the dry oil primer, protect your skin from the sun and all that. And then there's Opal Essence, which is the one I wanna use today. And that is the Serum Primer. So let's go in with that one. So it comes in this little kind of plastic bottle with a little nozzle, which I think is really, you know, travel friendly, makeup big friendly, bang friendly, you know what I'm saying? And everyone makes fun of the way I say bag. So like, I don't know if it's a Canadian thing, but is it bag or bag? I don't know. So let's rub that in. So this primer is like more hydrating, you know, supposed to give your skin a nice illuminated look. Ooh, we can tell that right off the bat. I chose this one today because I do have a bit of a dry patches right now. So this will just help the foundation go on nice and smoothly. Won't cling to those dry patches, hopefully. Like, wow, my skin looks fresh, dewy. I mean, I still have pimples, so that sucks, but that's just my we can't blame the primer for that. It also has a really subtle scent to it. It's kind of perfumey, but I actually really like it. That's just something to be aware of if you are sensitive to scents. For foundation, we have It Cosmetics brand new foundation called Confidence in a Foundation. I said foundation like 17 times, but I love that name. That's such a cool name. Confidence in a Foundation. We all want confidence. So let's try the foundation and hope we gain some. They also came out with an interesting brush that I'm gonna use to apply. It has a little curve shape to it and it's supposed to be heavenly skin hugging and do all the good things. So we'll see about that. It's so soft, wow. So let's pump a little bit out of my hand. I like that it has a little pump to it, makes it easy to access the foundation. So I'm into the packaging. Let's apply this. Wow, the brush is definitely giving me a fast application. And the little curve in it, you wouldn't think that that does much, but that actually is like making it so easy to sweep around like the grooves in my face, like on my cheekbones, my jawline. Wow, you guys know I'm a beauty blender girl for blending on my foundation, but this brush is actually impressing me. So so far. So it's supposed to be full coverage, which I am seeing that so far. It's doing a good job of covering up imperfections. It's also supposed to give you more of, of a velvet finish instead of like a matte, matte finish, which I'm into. I think it's giving me more of a dewy finish though because of the primer we used beforehand, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's definitely lightweight. Like they say, it doesn't feel heavy on my face. The only complaint, and that's if I'm being really like picky, is that I wish it didn't have white bristles. Like, look at this. It looks disgusting already, <laughs> but that definitely wouldn't stop me from using it again or even repurchasing another one. So I'm loving that. And the foundation comes in 48 shades, which is incredible. That's a great shade range. You'll definitely be able to find your exact shade. Let's see what else it says about it. It's supposed to have hyaluronic acid in there, peptides, hydrolyzed collagen, all that good stuff for your skin. So that's awesome. So I would say it is buildable in those areas where I kind of gave it a second layer. It definitely had no trouble covering up my acne and scars. I'm really impressed with this foundation and loving this foundation brush. For concealer, we have a brand new CoverGirl concealer on the market. It is the Simply Ageless Instant Fix Advanced Concealer. So the packaging is kind of similar to the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, just right off the bat. It's got that little sponge tip applicator and the little clicky twisty thingy. Simply Ageless Age Rewind. I'm sensing some similarities here, but let's apply this on my under eye. Okay, the sponge is definitely really hard, which I don't like. So it's leaving little imprints. So I'm just not gonna use that to blend out, but I will use that to apply. 10 years later, still clicking. Yeah, and the little 
sponge tip is like soaking up all the product before I can even get on my face. Let me blend that out with my beauty blender since I'm not really loving that hard little tiny round sponge on there. Blending out easily, definitely very lightweight, definitely more of a sheer coverage. We'll see if we can build it because the bags are still alive and well. I like the finish though. It looks more of a dewy kind of satin finish. So it's super, super natural. So it's completely applied one layer. I would say that I would use this as more of like the days where I don't want to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. It's very, very natural looking, but let me try and apply just a second layer to see if we can build it right into the inner corner. Before I blend it out, we'll let it sit there for a couple minutes, dry down at the tiniest bit. That should help us get the teensiest bit more coverage. So I wouldn't say it's buildable. You can still see kind of a shadow under there. You could either apply a color corrector underneath if you're really trying to cover up your bags. But I also wanna try out the darker shade to see how it works as a bronzer or contour. So we'll use the shade 390 Deep as a liquid contour. And I'm gonna use this brush again because I feel like it's perfect for this. The little groove right in my hollows of my cheek, it's fitting right in there. I like this brush a lot. Something lightweight like this makes it so easy to blend out, makes it not really detectable and still very natural. Let's apply a little bit around my hairline and why not? We'll use it for a nose contour too. Huh. Now all the product comes out. Let's blend her out. So easy to blend because of how lightweight and like hydrating it is. Love that. So that works amazing as a cream contour and I did like it as a concealer. I just prefer more coverage, but that doesn't mean it's a bad concealer. It just means I would only use it when I want my makeup to look more lightweight, you know, in a certain way. So overall, still really liking that concealer. Moving on. For blush, we have a product from Smith & Cult and this is new to me. I'm not sure if it's new in general, but they sent me some stuff in PR and it all looked really good. So I'm keen to try it out. Let me know, have you guys tried this brand before? What do you think of it? So we're using the Flash Flush Cream Velvet Blush in Cool Pink. It's a cream blush and a really gorgeous light baby pink color, which I've been really liking, especially for summer coming up, you know? Really pretty pastel blush is the way to go. Ooh, I love a cream blush. Makes your skin look so glowy and fresh and pretty. This is gorgeous. Melted right on, didn't have to work too hard to blend it, and it gave my cheeks a nice little flush color. So I'm really liking that. Definitely gonna continue to explore this brand. Next up, I have a bronzer from Morphe that I want to try out. They sent me their new bronze collection. So they have the 35G palette, has a ton of bronze, kind of shimmery shades in there. They came out with three bronze shades total. This is the lightest shade called Icon, which is the one we're gonna try out. They also had a lip gloss set in the collection, a highlighter drops set, and this little bronzing brush that is meant to be for your face and your body. So soft and so big. I kind of love it already. Packaging is so huge, by the way. It looks literally the size of my head. Kind of reminds me of the Tom Ford bronzers. So loving that. It's matte. It's supposed to be buildable. So we'll apply that just on my cheeks here and around my forehead. Ooh, that definitely gave us an immediate bronze. It's a good color and the powder applies really nice and smoothly. So liking that. Let's see how it works for the body. Ooh, bronze me up, honey. Bronze me up. Oh yes, between the cleavage. Let's do that. So from what I can tell, you know, I think I am gonna like this, but I did apply it over top of a little bit of a bronze already. So it's hard to know for sure, but definitely gave us a really nice overall bronze and really loving this brush, a big fluffy brush like this. It makes it so convenient for any sort of like body makeup at all. And I did also like it for my face, especially since I wanted just a light sweep of bronze since we already did that contour beforehand. Next, we have some brand new setting powders from Jouer, the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. So let's try out the shade Light and let's apply that just on my T-zone where I get really shiny. I do have kind of oily combination skin, so I get really shiny in the center of my face and then dry patches everywhere else. Like, why, what did I do to deserve this? Okay, it does have some color to it for sure. And for the shade Light, this actually is a uh, kind of dark. So if you are fair skinned, I would recommend going the shade lighter. Wow, it's doing a great job of setting, but also not completely taking away shine. So it still looks really natural. And it's definitely doing a great job of filling in all the texture and bumps I have on my forehead and smoothing it all out. So I like that. And let's kind of use that really lightly to blend the bronzer and contour down here. Just kind of sweep it over everything to blend everything all together. I am liking this powder. Wow, today is a good day. Now let's go shade lighter in fair and apply that on my under eye. Hopefully this will help to brighten, but also set that concealer because it's starting to crease. And since it does have a little bit of color to it, I'm hoping it'll add some coverage under there. It's definitely not as much coverage as like a foundation powder, you know, but it does have a little something something. Can you see the difference? Whoa, camera ready. Bags and tired looking, not camera ready. So I'm loving that powder. It definitely smoothed everything out. It looks kind of like I have a filter on my skin now. Next up, let's do brows. So Sigma came out with a bunch of new brow products. 
bags. They have new brow gels. They have new brow powders, pomades, and brow pencils. So I'm gonna try out their new fill and blend brow pencil in the shade light. So I'll just use that to create little hair-like strokes in all the areas that my brow is more sparse. So I love brow pencils versus like, you know, eyeshadow powders or whatever. But this one is supposed to be really long wearing. It doesn't say waterproof though, just long wearing. And it does come with a spoolie brush to help blend the product in. So we love that. There's so many brow products on the market. If you're coming out with a brow pencil that doesn't have a spoolie brush on it, like what are you actually doing, you know? And the product is gliding on really nicely. It's not too creamy, so it's still easy to control, but it's not so hard that you're like stabbing yourself for the product to come on. Let's blend all that in using the spoolie and it is blending in really nicely. Bomb. So on a first impression, really loving that brow pencil. Definitely what I look for to create my ideal brows, as long as it is as long wearing as it says. I'm also gonna try out the Tint and Tame Brow Gel from them, also in the shade light. Oh, whoa, there's actually so much product on the brush, but okay, definitely tinting my brows. Wow, it's like changing the color completely. Ah, I had too much product on there. It's kind of making them clumpy. Whoa, <laughs> too much product. Let me use a clean spoolie. So brow gel is only on this brow. You can see the difference. It did kind of tint my brow a little bit lighter overall. Also helped to kind of fill in and thicken my brow hairs. And it did set them, I like that. There was definitely too much product on the bristles though. So you gotta be careful with that. So we'll apply that on the other brow as well. Mm, wow, yep, those brow hairs are real thick now. Brows are done, loving that combo together. They're looking good, looking how I like them. So I'ma say. Sylvia approved. Moving on to eyes, I already applied my eyeshadow primer because I don't have a new one to try out, but we do have an exciting new product from Urban Decay. They came out with a Game of Thrones collection. So, so cool. They also have a bunch of lipsticks in the collection, a lip and cheek stain, a highlight palette. Oh, which reminds me, we actually forgot to do highlight. So why don't we use that palette right now? Such cool packaging too. Ooh, and they also came out with like two really cool eye brushes. These probably have meaning if you're a Game of Thrones fan, but I I really am not like a huge Game of Thrones person. I just never really got into it, but I can appreciate cool packaging and these are sick. So this eyeshadow palette has a mirror in it and then three shades, a nice deep bronzy shade, a golden kind of shimmer and a pink highlight. Interesting. Let's just use all of them. Let's just apply that on my cheekbones. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Loving that. Put that on my cupid's bow as well. A little bit on everywhere I usually highlight. You know, I gotta say it every time. So highlight is on, loving that. It's definitely more of that really finely milled powder formula. There's not really big chunks of glitter in it. So it's gonna give you a really nice natural lit from within glow because it still just melts right onto your skin, looks very skin-like, but you can still build it to obviously be super blinding, which we love. So Sylvia approved, liking that. So this is what the palette looks like. It's really thick, it's like a giant book. And then the inside, you got a big mirror right there and a quote here from Daenerys. And you open it up and well, bam, it's a freaking pop-up book. Look at that. You got the throne right there, so cool. And the actual eyeshadow palette comes out of the bottom here, like a little shelf. <laughs> and it just pops right out there and it's portable. So that's really cool. Definitely like a collector's item. And the palette is kind of split up into four different sections. I'm thinking for like the different clans of people. I don't know Game of Thrones, okay? I'm so sorry, you're cringing right now. Still really cool. I like how they separate it into different kind of quads and you got a mixture of mattes and shimmers in there. You got some fun colors and some neutral shades. So you can definitely create a lot of looks with this guy. So let's go in with House Lannister first and let's apply that just above the crease and into the brown and into the brown bone <laughs> brow bone just to warm it up a bit give us some color oh that's pretty very natural that's a good crease color for sure now let's use the shade white walker i'm gonna take that on their little sword brush right here perfect name for the shade obviously it's pretty baby blue we'll use that right on the inner corner kind of blending up and into the crease and on most of my lid here and i want to actually mix that with free folk the shimmery silver shade oh yeah just to make it real I see. And I'm gonna bring that even a little bit above my crease, but not too much with just whatever's left over on my brush. That's really pretty. I like that. The shadows are applying really nicely. Got that classic Urban Decay formula that we love. Now let's take Frozen North. It's this really pretty like deep blue shimmery shade. I'm gonna use the other sword brush and we'll apply that kind of from the center of my lid to the outer corner. Blending that into the soft light blue, kind of creating a, a gradient. And I'm gonna kind of wing this out a little bit. We're gonna create a 
smoky wing with this bad boy. Just using a clean blending brush to help blend the edges. This is a really pretty color, I love this. Zoomed you guys in a bit so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Just working away at blending those edges into kind of a cat eye here. And I'm also gonna bring that shade to my lower lash line, connecting that wing. If you have deep setted eyes like me, looking straight into your mirror like this will really let you see what still shows when your eyes are open and kind of help you guide where you want your shadows placed like that. Now, since we blended a lot, we've lost some of the color there. So I'm gonna just pack on more of that blue shade, deepening it up just right on the outer corner here. So just packing that shadow on. Now let's go in with Take the Black. It's this glittery black eyeshadow. And I'm taking that on just like a really fine, small detailing brush. And we're just gonna build up on this outer corner and just intensify this smoky wing. So just packing on most of the color close to my lash line. And then as there's less product on my brush, I'm gonna kind of wiggle and blend up and out into this cat eye. So once you've built up that color and blended it into a nice gradient into that dark blue shade, we're gonna also take that and just connect it right to the outer corner of our lower lash line, keeping it really tight to our lashes. Now let's go in with Bend the Knee and I'm gonna spray my brush so we can get it nice and intense. It's like this really pretty, like holographic almost looking purple shade and I wanna use that right on my inner corner and right down my lower lash line to about the middle of my lashes here. This is such a pretty shade. Oh, it looks gorgeous. I also think I'm gonna use a bit of that to highlight my brow bone. So eyeshadow is done. Really liking how it turned out. The palette was easy to use. I like the formula of the shadows and it's just a really cool collector's item. So that one's a hit for me as well. If you like Game of Thrones and you like the shades in that palette, I mean, it's a hit. You can't deny it. I don't have a new mascara to try out, but I do have a lash brand that is new to me. It is is Tati Lashes. It's a luxury lash brand. Apparently like all the celebs use them. Their lash styles have been seen on the Kardashians and like Cardi B. So I'm excited to try them. This is the style TL19. I'm gonna apply them off camera just to save time, BRB. So mascara and lashes are applied. I also just applied a cobalt blue liner on my waterline. I'm really liking those lashes. They're full and fluffy, full of volume at the root, but still wispy at the tips, which is my style of lash. So. I'll I'll definitely be exploring the other lash styles from that brand. Have you tried them? What do you think? Let me know down below. Also the lash band was like super flexible and feels very comfortable on my eye, which is impressive for really full like mink lashes. So I'm really liking those. Moving on to lips. I have the new BH Cosmetics Cashmere Cream Lipsticks. So they came out with a bunch of these, so many different shades. I think I'm gonna go with the shade Thirsty. This is a really pretty kind of baby pink shade. Ooh, and this is really creamy. So it's interesting. It's like a comfortable, creamy kind of formula, but it does look really matte. Kind of reminds me of like the MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. That's a really pretty lip color, loving that. The formula is really cool too. Goes on very creamy, feels lightweight, comfortable, but it has a matte finish. So you don't usually get that with matte lipsticks. So that's why this one really reminds me of the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick formulas. Definitely a good dupe to that. And I'm loving the new BH lipstick formulas. Wow, we uh, ended it on a bang. All right, you guys. So that completes the final makeup look using all of those brand new makeup products. I am obsessed with how this makeup look turned out. Like 100% love it. Definitely would recreate this for like an event or whatever. And I am so surprised that really like nothing was a complete miss. I wasn't in love with that new CoverGirl concealer just cause I like a little bit more full coverage, but I would still use it for when I want a more light coverage concealer. And I actually really loved it as a cream contour, but that was the only thing that I was kind of iffy about. Everything else I really, really liked, but we definitely found a lot of gems in this video and I'm excited. We've got a lot of good makeup for this season. Let me know which product you're most keen to try out from the video or if there's any other brand new makeup that you want me to test out, let me know down below and I'll be sure to include it in a video for you guys. But that's all for this video. I hope you guys loved it. Please show some love by hitting the subscribe button right here to join my S Club. And then if you haven't yet, make sure to purchase my BH Cosmetics palette like right here. All you gotta do is click this button and then watch these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet and have yourself a Sylvia Gandy marathon. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mwah. Bye.